Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. Each of three bags contains only red or blue balls. The first bag contains two red balls and x squared minus 6x plus 13 blue balls. The second bag contains three red balls and x squared minus 6x plus 12 blue balls. The third bag contains four red balls and x squared minus 6x plus 11 blue balls. A ball is drawn at random from a randomly chosen bag. What is the maximum probability that the drawn ball is red? I thank Amish for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Let's calculate the probability of drawing a red ball from each of the three bags. In the first bag, there are two red balls and a total of x squared minus 6x plus 15 balls. In the second bag, there are three red balls and this bag has the same total number of balls. The third bag has four red balls and it also has the same total number of balls. Each of the three bags is equally likely to be chosen, so each bag has a one-third chance of being drawn. We can thus calculate the probability that the randomly chosen ball is red by taking the weighted sum of these three probabilities. It'll be one-third multiplied by the probability of drawing a red ball from the first bag, plus one-third multiplied by the probability of drawing a red ball from the second bag, plus one-third multiplied by the probability of drawing a red ball from the third bag. We can simplify the sum. Each of the three terms have the same denominator, so we can group them into a common denominator. We then add up the numerators. From here, we factor one-third. Then two plus three plus four is equal to nine. One-third of nine is equal to three. This is the probability that the randomly chosen ball is red. We want to maximize this probability. To do that, let's look at the denominator x squared minus 6x plus 15. To analyze this function, we'll complete the square. We'll rewrite this as x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 6. The first three terms will simplify to be x minus 3 the quantity squared then we add 6. We can analyze this function. For real values of x, the quantity x minus 3 squared is a non-negative number, and it reaches a minimum when x is equal to 3. At that point, it'll be equal to 0. So this quadratic is greater than or equal to 0 plus 6, so it's greater than or equal to 6, and that happens when x is equal to 3. Now let's go back to the probability. We know that the denominator is greater than or equal to 6, and it's at its minimum value when x is equal to 3. When the denominator is at its minimum, that's when the probability is at its maximum, because we're dividing by the minimum number. So the probability will be less than or equal to 3 divided by 6, and that simplifies to be 1 half. Thus, the maximum probability is equal to 1 half, and that happens when x is equal to 3. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.